Last week in my sermon, I reached the point in Galatians chapter 2 in our series from the book of Galatians where Paul started talking about justification by faith. Now that idea of justification by faith is simply the idea that we are made right with God. We are forgiven of our sin by faith in Jesus, that we believe Jesus died on the cross in our place, that He came back to life to be able to give us not only forgiveness of sin, but eternal life. And so all of that is by faith. And there is not enough that we can ever do of working our way toward God to earn forgiveness or to earn God's love. God offers it freely. And that is the only way we can have it is that if we accept it as that free gift. But that doesn't mean we're free to do anything we want to do and to live our lives any way we want to live them. We should live a holy life using Jesus as our example, trying to be more like him every day. And I realize that that's hard in this world that is trying to tell us many other ways that are opposite of God's ways. But in the church, we sometimes push away that idea of works or doing things in our life because we focus so much on we are justified by faith. We are made right with God by faith. And that's unfortunate because though we cannot work our way to God, we should live the right kind of life. And we are capable of living the right kind of life, doing good works, as the Bible calls it. And that's what I want to focus on this week in our Bible memory verse. That's from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. And here's what it says. For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand so that we would walk in them. And that verse begins by saying that we are God's workmanship. And, and I love that description because it reminds me of what David talks about in Psalm 139, where he describes when we are in our mother's womb and we are just developing, that God already knows exactly who we are. He knows who He wants us to be when we grow up. He knows everything about our lives. And He is creating or crafting us in a very careful, very intentional way so that every person is a unique, special, valuable creation. And that's what Paul is getting at in Ephesians 2.10. He says, for we are His workmanship. It means God created us, and He created us for very specific things. And part of that is that when we put our faith in Jesus, remember that faith, not that we've worked our way to Him, but that we put our faith in Him, then that inner created part of who we are. And I don't even know how to describe that, but that, that idea that God created us in very spe special ways to do certain things, part of that is to live our life doing good works. In other words, to be a person of deep and right moral character, a pe person who is deeply committed to God and using that to impact the lives of other people, just simply doing good things in our life. That's what we are created for. And God did that as we were being created in our mother's womb, preparing us for that point, but not forcing us to get to that point. Because again, it happens by faith. God does not ever force us to come to Him and trust in Him or even to serve Him. He will enable us and He will push us pretty hard sometimes, but He leaves that final choice up to us. It is my choice if I will trust in Him by faith, and if I will live my life doing good works simply because I want to please Him and thank Him for what He has done. I know I cannot earn His love. I cannot earn His forgiveness. But I begin to understand that His plan for my life and your life, that once we come to Jesus in faith, is to live and do good works, to use our life for good things, and he finishes it up by saying that, that, that we are created for that so that we can walk in those good works. That idea of walk in the Bible describes a lifestyle. It describes that we become such a follower of Jesus that everything we do begins to be in obedience to Him, begins to be in modeling after Him. 
That's what it means to walk in faith and to walk doing good works. So I just want to encourage you with that this week that, no, we cannot earn God's love, but we can live a good life and do the right things to be good moral people, to be good followers of Christ in this world because that is literally what God has created us to do. Thank you so much for being with me today, and I hope that uh, you will join me again next week.